welcome to another episode of Hard Target Range. Today, we'll be shooting the Sig Sauer P220 Hunter in 10 millimeter. Let's go shooting. Well, here we are back in the shop, and it looks like Jack left me a little something to drink. Cranberries, blueberries, and beet juice, and the juice of half a lemon. Why can Jack make a, a mean drink, can he? Well, let's do it. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Uh, that doesn't heat you up and cool you down all at the same time. No, it doesn't. So this is the gun we're shooting today, the SIG P220 in 10 millimeter. This one is the single action only version. They also make a double action single action version, which has the sights on it I wish this had. And I tell you, I have, I have the worst luck with these adjustable rear sights, or they're all like this, I don't know, but they just, they just aren't positive enough for me. I don't want them to be able to push them up and down and, and move them around when I set them in place. I just want them to stay right there. And the front sight, I, I talked about before, I'm not a fan of the fiber optic front sights. This one happens to have a tritium night sight vial in it, so it's going to look like that in day or night. However, this one gives you a nice target sight picture because it's got enough air on either side of that front sight when you look at the rear sight, and it squares off nicely. I don't have any problem with this one in getting accurate shots. So I'm not going to start carving this front sight up or replacing it. just a fantastic gun to shoot it just it's just a very very enjoyable gun to shoot it's got enough weight and 10 millimeter is is not such a stout large round that it that it's difficult to shoot out of this gun at all i really think that there are two things that you need to look for in a gun one is that you shoot it well naturally right out of the box that you're not not gonna have to go through a lot of training and a lot of ammo could get to the point where you just shoot it well and by well I mean adequately not great not fantastic but you can go to the shooting range and like a range gun and it'll shoot accurate and just fine nothing you'd be ashamed of Number two, the gun needs to function. If the gun doesn't function right, you can send it back and keep working on it. But you know, in this day and age, and the way things are, time is short. Yeah, maybe you should just dump it, take your loss, and move on. When you get a gun that you shoot well, and it has no failures to feed, no failures to eject, it runs 100%, hang on to that gun, guys. That's a great gun. Embrace that gun work with that gun, become one with that gun. There's the gun. Yeah, don't keep looking. And on the other hand, just because everybody in the world likes X-Gun, and you bought X-Gun, and you want to carry X-Gun, if you don't shoot it well from the very get-go, yeah, I say dump it, take the loss, and move on. Well, there you go. There's my little, yeah, there's my little rant for the day. I'll leave you with that footage I was talking about. Thanks for tuning in this week to the Hard Target Range where we shoot at those beautiful 
beautiful AR500 steel hard targets from Hard Target, and there's a link down below where you can go get those for your own private shooting enjoyment. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I think I missed that last one. The Sig Sauer P220 and 10 millimeter. What a beautiful gun. It's so much fun to shoot. Well, that ends another episode of the Hard Target Range. Thanks for tuning in from Mr. Holster and Jack. Go out and stay safe.